Hi there! Nice that you are watching this tutorial. I was inspired by Mosaic Crochet and I started to try it out. And it is so much fun that I turn it into a pattern for a pillow cover. Actually two. <laughs> An easy one and a bit more difficult. In this tutorial I will explain how the easier pattern works and in the next tutorial the more advanced version will be available. I got the yarns from iChart and the free rhythm pattern can be found on my blog. The link to my blog is in the description box down below. Give me a thumbs up to let me know if you like this better. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. And if you have a request for a tutorial or a question, let me know in the comments down below. For this project I use three colors of natural cotton worsted from Ice Yarns. Ice Yarns uh, sent me this yarn. I used Light Camel, Baby Pink and Burgundy and the amount of skeins I used I put in the description box down below so you can find it there. It is a number 4 100% cotton yarn, 100 grams, 150 meters. The recommended, recommended hook is a 3.5 or a 4 millimeter crochet hook or knitting needles. I used a G6 4 mm crochet hook and a pillow to put in the pillow cover. I used a pillow from 40 by 40 centimeters or 15 and a half by 15 and a half inches. But you can use any size you like. Just keep in mind you need more or less yarn than I when you make your pillow bigger or smaller. The pattern is written in US terms and this pattern is worked in rows. The yarn is cut at the end of every row and you start a new row always at the same side. I explain you later in the video. If you can make a double crochet, a single crochet and a chain, then you are good to go and you can make this pillow cover. Let's begin. You see here the chart and um, in the pattern is also a written description so if you think it is easier to read a written pattern then you can use that as well but if you are a chart reader then this is the one you need you see here the pattern is in multiples of six and it is a 13 rows repeat actually it is this is the repeat but i made it into color so for me it is a 13 rows repeat you see here every box is a single crochet in the back loop only. Every box with an X is a drop down double crochet in the front loop, one row below. So here you see the numbers of rows, and here you see which color we use for each row. So in the first row we use color A, and then here we see color A is light camel. In the next row we use color B, and color B is burgundy. So that's how this can be explained. We start with a single crochet foundation chain in multiples of six for the width of your pillow. So if your pillow is 40 centimeters or 15 and a half inch like me, then make a single crochet foundation chain for the width of your pillow. So the length of your foundation chain is the same as the width of your pillow. If you don't like to start with a single crochet foundation chain, then you can start with a chain and work a row of single crochet on top. If you want to learn how to make a single crochet foundation chain, you can click on the link in the description box. There is a photo tutorial on how to make the single crochet foundation chain. And if you don't want to learn it or you are new, new with crochet or you don't like to start with a single crochet foundation chain, then skip that. Make a normal chain and work a row of single crochet on top. Then cut your yarn at the end, bind off, and then we start at this side again. So we always start on the right and we work to the left. And then at the end we cut our yarn and bind off and start the beginning again. So for row two, we need color B. So we attach color B and then we work all the way to the other side. We all have empty boxes. In this row so 
only single crochets in the back loop only. Then cut your yarn bind off, attach color A and start row 3 from this side. So you see one, two, three empty boxes, so three single crochet in the back loop only. And then you see a box with a X. In this box we need to make a drop down double crochet in the front loop of the row below. I'll show you in the video later on how to do that. And then an empty box and then a box with an X. So a drop down, double crochet. Then three empty boxes, three single crochet in the back loop, a box with an X. So this is how you read the chart. Let's begin our pattern. Okay. We start with a single crochet foundation chain in multiples of six for the width that you want. My pillow is 40 centimeters and 15 and a half inches wide. So I made my foundation chain this length. If you are new to cro crochet or just don't like to start with a foundation chain, then you can make a normal chain and work a row of single crochet on top and start row two from there. Okay, make a slip knot on your hook. And then chain two. One, two. Then insert your hook in the first chain you've made. So insert, then yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Normally for a single crochet, we yarn over, pull through two loops. For the single crochet foundation chain, we yarn over, pull through one loop. So this is your new chain and then yarn over, pull through two loops. So your new chain, you can mark this chain with a stitch marker so you can find it a bit easier, but I hold it between my fingers and then I know where to insert my hook for the next stitch. So insert your hook under the two loops of the chain just made like this. Then yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook. Then we make a chain. So yarn over, pull through one, hold this chain, we'll put in a stitch marker, yarn over, pull through two. We now have two stitches. So insert under the two loops of the chain, you help between your fingers. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop to create a new chain, hold this chain, yarn over, pull through two to finish your so a single crochet. Insert under the two loops of the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one loop to create a new chain. Hold this chain, yarn over, pull through two to finish your single crochet. Insert under the both loops of the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one, your new chain. Yarn over, pull through two. Insert under both loops of the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Insert under both loops of the chain. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. So this is the repeat for this row. So this is how you make your single crochet foundation chain. So keep in mind that you make it, uh, you make it in multiples of six and for the width you like. So I make it 40 centimeters or about 40 centimeters and 15 and a half inch. So keep working on your foundation chain. 
or your chain and work your row of single crochets on top and I meet you back at the end of row one. My row one is done. I made, um, let me see, 78 stitches to meet my 40 centimeters or 15 half inches. It is a bit more. So for row two, we cut our yarn. Bind off. And we cut our yarn and bind off at the end of every row. So we start our new row at the same spot every time. So here will be our next stitch in our next color. And our next color is color B and that's burgundy. So here's the end. Go to the other side. Insert in the first stitch, grab your color B, yarn up, pull through and chain one. You now attached your yarn. For the second row, we make just one row of single crochet in the back loop only, all the way across. So no difficult stitches, just single crochet in the first and the two loops and the next in the back loop only. So you see as a front loop and a back loop, we insert in the back loop only. So you have one loop on your hook. And then I work over my tail at the same time, but you don't have to do that. Then pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Then we go to the next. You see here a front loop and a back loop. We insert in the back loop. We always make our single crochets in the back loop only. Then the next stitch, front loop, back loop, in the back loop, under one loop, and single crochet. So in the back loop, single crochet in the back loop single crochet in the back loop and single crochet like this so back loop single crochet and make a single crochet in every stitch across. So only in the back loops, all the way across, and I'll meet you back when we are at the end of row two. I am almost at the end of row two. I need two more stitches. And make sure you don't work in your knot, so where you bind off, because otherwise your work uh, increase, and you don't want that. So. Work in the last stitch, single crochet, cut your yarn, and yarn over, pull through to bind off. So here you have your row two done. Then if you look at the chart, we switch back to color A, the light camel. Make sure you don't turn your work. We always work on the front, so we don't turn our work and cut your yarn every end of the row and attach your new color at the beginning of a row. That way you can make mistakes or... Okay, here's the first stitch insert in the back loop. Wrap your yarn, pull through, chain one, pull tight. Now your yarn is attached. And if we see row three, then we see three empty boxes. The first three are empty boxes. So the first three are just normal single crochets in the back loop only. So insert in the first back loop, 
single crochet insert in the back next back loop single crochet insert in the next single crochet so we have three single crochet the next box has a cross in it so a cross means a drop down double crochet so yarn over and you see here the front loops yeah the front loops of the single crochet of the row below so you yarn over you reach down and i grab it like this from bottom to top you need to get through this front loop so i grab the loop turn my hook and push it up like this and then you can get your yarn pull through pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two just to finish like a normal double crochet and then i'll see one empty box so we worked this stitch in the row below so we skip this stitch in the burgundy color we skip the stitch and in the next we work the empty box stitch so just a single crochet in the back loop only and then there is a box with an x so yarn over then you see here the front loop we worked for this double crochet then we work the single crochet so this front loop we don't use and the next front loop is the front loop we use for this drop down double crochet so yarn over skip this one and in this one so right below the stitch that is next grab it from bottom to top pull through push through yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's just like a normal double crochet now i see in the chart three empty boxes so three single crochet you see behind this drop down double crochet you see this burgundy stitch we skip this and in the next three we make a single crochet in the back loop so we skip this because we worked this stitch one row below and in the next three we make a single crochet in the back loop only so insert in the back loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through two insert in the back loop single crochet insert in the back loop single crochet so we now make made three single crochet a drop down double crochet a single crochet a drop down double crochet and three single crochet so next are a drop down double crochet a single crochet and a drop down double crochet so yarn over so here is your next stitch drop down and here is your front loop where we work our drop down double crochet so yarn over grab from bottom to top the front loop of row one pull up a loop i need to grab it okay so yarn over grab from bottom to top the front loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we skip the next burgundy stitch because we worked a drop down double crochet over it so we skip that one then in the next we make a single crochet in the back loop and in the next we make a drop down double crochet so we drop down from that stitch next stitch and then grab from bottom to top that stitch and work a double crochet like this then we skip this next burgundy stitch and in the next three we make a single crochet in the back loop only so 
that's one, two, three, and then we make a drop down double crochet, a single crochet, and a drop down double crochet again. So yarn over, reach down, to your next stitch, grab the loop from bottom to top, and finish your double crochet. And then skip this stitch and in the next, in the back loop, single crochet. Yarn over, the next drop down, grab a loop and make a single crochet. Like this. And then your drop down double crochets lays on top of your burgundy row. So finish this row by making uh, three single crochet in the back loop only, a drop down double crochet, single crochet, drop down double crochet, three single crochet in the back loop only, drop down double crochet, single crochet in the back loop only, drop down uh, double crochet in the row below. All the way across and I'll meet you back when I'm at the end of row three. I'm almost at the end of row three. I'm sorry about the sun. I can't keep it out. So it may disturb you a little bit. So I need one drop down double crochet, a single crochet in the back loop and a drop down double crochet to end my row. So I skip one, two, three front loops because I made three single crochet here. So one, two, three, and in the next we make a drop down double crochet like this. Then skip this next burgundy stitch because we work the drop down double crochet there. In the next we make a single crochet in the back loop, yarn over, and Make a drop down double crochet in the last stitch to finish row three. Then got your yarn, yarn over, pull through and pull tight. So this is your row three done. For row four we switch to the color B, so the burgundy color, go to this side, attach your yarn in the back loop of the first stitch, so insert, pull through, and chain one to attach. And then in color B and C it is just single crochets in the back loop only all the way across every time you only make the drop down double crochets in color a so in the light camel color so every time you attach a color b or a color c later on in the pattern then you make just single crochets in the back loop only so in the first mm -hmm. stitch back loop only single crochet in the back loop in the next and in every stitch across. So that's are the easy rows. Back loop only. So that's it for row four. Just one single crochet in the back loop only, all the way across, and I'll meet you back when I'm at the end. I'm at the end of row four. I can cut my yarn and bind off. We go to the beginning and then we attach color A, so a light camel in the back loop of the first burgundy stitch. So insert your hook in the back loop, the first stitch, pull through, 
and chain one to attach and then in the chart we see the first stitch of row five is a box with an X so it is a drop down double crochet so yarn over and you see here your first front loop of the row below so yarn over grab from bottom to top this first loop yarn over pull up a loop and finish like a normal double crochet and then in the next three that are empty boxes so the next three gets one single crochet in the back loop only in the next in the back loop a single crochet and number three in the back loop a single crochet like this then we see a drop down double crochet single crochet in the back loop drop down double crochet and the drop down double crochet needs to be in between the drop down double crochets of row three so here you see the loop that is in between so yarn over grab that loop from bottom to top and make a single crochet like this then the next stitch gets a single crochet in the back loop and the next gets a drop down double crochet so this one is this is this single crochet and the next we make a drop down double crochet so from bottom to top through the stitch and make a double crochet like this then the next three are empty boxes so we skip the burgundy stitch behind the drop down double crochet and then we make three single crochet in the next three stitches in the back loops of the next three stitches and then we have a drop down double crochet single crochet drop down double crochet so yarn over and in between the drop down double crochet from row three we grab from bottom to top the front loop and make a double crochet then we skip the burgundy stitch behind the drop down double crochet and in the next we make a single crochet in the back loop then yarn over and we skip this one and make a drop down double crochet in the next like this then three empty boxes again so skip the burgundy stitch behind the drop down double crochet and three, three single crochet in the back loops in the next three stitches So it is the same repeat as row three, but then we place the drop down double crochets one stitch further to the left. So you see it jumps to the left. So three single crochet in the back loop only, drop down double crochet, single crochet, drop down double crochet, then three single crochet in the back loop only. All the way across and I'll meet you back when I'm at the end of row five. I'm almost at the end of row five. I made three single crochet in the back loop only and now I need a drop down double crochet and end the row with a single crochet in the last stitch. And then row five is done. You can cut your yarn. Yarn over, pull through to bind off. And we start our last row in the burgundy color. So insert in the back loop of the first stitch. 
pull through, chain one to secure your yarn. And then this is a color B, so we make just one single crochet in the back loop all the way across. So no drop down double crochets, just single crochets in the back loop. And if you are at the end, then I'll meet you back. Almost at the end of my round, I need one more single crochet in the last stitch. And then I can cut my yarn and yarn over, pull through and pull tight. Then we switch back to color A, so the light camel. We attach in the back loop of the first stitch. So grab the yarn, pull through, chain one to secure and then let's see our chart the first is an empty box so in that box we make one single crochet in the back loop only and then the next is a box with an X so we make a yarn over and go down from the next stitch down to the front loop of row five Grab that loop from bottom to top and make a drop down double crochet. Then the next three boxes are empty, so they are just single crochet. So skip the single crochet behind the double crochet and make three single crochet in the next three stitches. Use the back loops, so one, one in the next, and one in the next. And then you see a box with an X, an empty box and a box with an X. So a drop down, double crochet in this stitch, then skip the stitch behind the double crochet. And in the next, we make a single crochet in the back loop only. And in the next stitch, we make another drop down, double crochet. And then we have three single crochets in the next three stitches. So skip the stitch behind the double crochet and make three single crochets in the back loop only in the next three stitches. And then make a double crochet drop down in between the two of the row below. Like this then skip the stitch behind and in the next we make a single crochet in the back loop yarn over and make a drop down double crochet in the next stitch like this and then it's just the same as the other rows so repeat this making three single crochets in the back loop only then a drop down double crochet single crochet drop down double crochet all the way across and I'll meet you back when I'm at the end of this row and then I'll show you how to repeat that's the end of the repeat and then i'll make the same in another color so in the uh, light camel and uh, the baby pink and then we repeat this so we alternate with three stripes of burgundy three stripes of baby pink so at the end of this row i come back and i'll show you how to start the repeat again i'm at the end of my row seven i ended this row with a drop down double crochet in the last stitch and now cut your yarn yarn over pull through and now we go to this side and we start with color c and color c is our baby pink so attach the color in the back loop of the first stitch just like we 
did every time to attach the yarn and then we make a whole row of single crochets in the back loop in this color so that's the same as the burgundy we make just single crochets in every stitch across using the back loop only like this finish your row and i'll meet you back at the end of row eight i'm at the end of row eight cut your yarn and bind off pull tight and then attach i made a mess here with my yarns then attach color a and of course you can use any color you like and any um combination you like you don't have to choose the same colors as i chose but that's totally up to you insert in the first stitch pull through chain one and now you attach your yarn and then if you see the chart you can see that is the same repeat as in row three so what we are going to do from now on is we don't count the uh, row the foundation chain so we start with a color and then color a then a color color b color a color b color a so you repeat rows two to seven for as many times as necessary to reach your desired length and i switch colors every three stripes so i made a st three stripes of burgundy and now i make three stripes of uh, baby pink and then three stripes of burgundy and then three stripes of, of baby pink and repeat rows two until seven for as many times as necessary to reach your length so i need 40, 40 centimeters or 15 and a half inches so I repeat this as many times as necessary to reach that length so repeat row 2 until row 7 until your work is the length you like and alternate your colors just the way you like you prefer maybe you want color B color A color B color A that's also an option or you only use two colors then do that or make every stripe in another color that's all possible you can also um, switch color a into another color or switch it halfway the pattern there are many possibilities but repeat rows two until row seven for as many times as you need to reach the height you want and then i'll meet you back the front of my pillow is done i made 11 stripes in total and it measures from top to bottom almost 40 centimeters or 15 and a half inches so this part is done you can place this aside put this aside and then we start the back and for the back you chain a chain or a single crochet foundation chain for the length of the pillow so 40 centimeters or 15 and a half inches for me and then work rows of just normal single crochets on top back and forth back and forth and every row starts with a chain one and then work your row on top i just started my back because it is a very easy one so make a single crochet foundation chain or just a chain for a little bit shorter than 40 centimeters or 15 and a half inches and then make single crochets on top and at the end chain one turn your work and insert single crochet insert in the next single crochet insert in the next single crochet and so on so repeat this for as many rows as you need to get the height you have for the front so almost 40 centimeters 
or almost 15 and a half inches and then I'll meet you back. So just normal single crochets for the height you need and then I'll meet you back. I finished my bag and it is 40 by 40 centimeters or 15 and a half by 15 and a half inches and it's made of just rows of normal single crochets and a chain one at the beginning of each row and now it's time to put the pillow cover together so you can pick your front and I have my yarn still attached so I use this to single crochet both sides together okay I'm placing the outsides out so insides in and then you can single crochet on the outside the two layers together if you don't like the single crochet around on the outside then you can turn your work outside in and then work your row of single crochets on the inside and then when you have a 10 centimeter gap left or maybe a 20 centimeter um, 8 inches about 8 inches then you turn your work right side out and then put in your pillow and close the last part of your pillow but I like when the a row of single crochets are on the outside so you get a nice and neat border so let's begin so I place my so the front facing down like this and then I place my back on top make sure your rows go in the same direction so if you turn this then this goes this way and then your front goes that way that's not very nice so make sure your rows are the same and then you can pick up your work and then it's just insert in the first chain of this side and then in the first chain of the other side and then just single crochet you have to weave this in all those ends or you can put it inside and then make your single crochets around so it is on the inside of your pillow cover but that is a bit harder to work your single crochets around all those ends so it's easier to weave them in so I'm going to decide what I'm going to do but first I make this row of single crochet so insert in the next stitch insert in the next stitch of the front like this single crochet and if you like a uh, slip stitch then you can also make a slip stitch if you like to whip stitch together you can also whip stitch them together just pick the way you prefer but I like the single crochet border so insert in the next stitch and in the next stitch of the other side and make a single crochet in the next stitch through both layers single crochet and maybe your uh, back has a different stitch count than your front because this is a bit tighter this crochet crochet is up a bit tighter than this side so then your stitch count is off that's not a problem if you see you have no stitch straight across then just pick the stitch that is most obvious so maybe you have to make two single crochet in one stitch on this side and just one in each stitch on this side so you make a single crochet through both layers and then this single crochet needs to be go through this single crochet as well then just do that you don't see that in the end 
So eyeball that your work will be straight and flat. And just take your time and work your way around. And like I said, if you may like to put this on the inside, then turn your work right side in and work it the same way. But then if you have a gap left, so you worked around all the way and you have a gap left for about 20, 20 centimeters, eight inches, then you turn your work right side out, then put your pillow in and close the gap. So keep that in mind. And if you work the right side out, then you don't have to turn your work because your right sides are already out, <laughs> of course. So keep working for this whole row until you are at the end. And if you are at the end of this row, row then I'll meet you back. Then I'll show you how to make the rows along the side. Here we have nice and easy stitches on top. But here you have the side of the row, so it's a little bit different. So work this side and I'll meet you back when I'm at the next side. Okay, when you attached the top side, then it is time to move to the side of the pillow cover. So turn your work a little bit and we make an extra stitch in the corner. So in the corner stitch, insert your hook and insert your hook on this side like this and then make a single crochet like this. My side isn't closed yet because I want to show you everything at the same time. In the corners, in every corner you make three single crochet. So we close the last stitch here and then in the same stitch we make another single crochet and in the same stitch around the corner you make another single crochet. Only here you need to insert through the other side like this and then you have a nice corner. And now you see there are rows and here you can see the rows a little bit better because every row has another color. So you make one single crochet in every row. So you insert through this layer and try to pick up two loops like this and then through the layer on the other side. And here you see it very clear which one is which one is up. I have an end sticking out here. It's easier to pull through the first and then through the next layer, then all at the same time, and then finish your single crochet. Insert in the next row and in the next row of the other side. And try, you see here, this is just one loop. Try to pick up two loops and make a single crochet. Then through the next layer. Uh, through the next row and through the next row of this side. And you see I pick here the backs. So I go along the back of the, the front of the pillow cover because when you turn it a bit you can see there's sometimes a double crochet at the first stitch. And if you pick this one then you pull it a bit to the side and then it is out of shape a little bit. If you want to do that, it isn't a big deal, but I think it's better to pick up the rows at the back and you can see clearly which one is up. So pull through, pull through, then 
pull through my end. So my end has to go inside. Pull through, pull through. And then finish your single crochet. Through the next layer. Through the next row. Single crochet. Through the next row. And just eyeball it a little where you have to place your stitches. Because also on this side your rows may be different on both panels. So it can be that the back has more rows than the front and then your stitches are a little bit different for the front or the back. So maybe you don't have to use every row or you have to use one row two times. Just lay your work flat on each other and then you see where your, sh where your stitches should be. If you think it's hard to place, to keep your two panels flat on top of each other and you are afraid that you work end up like this, <laughs> so you're not picking up the right stitches, then place some stitch markers in your work to keep it in place. So that's a tip to make sure you have a straight end. So keep working like this. And then on the front, you see it looks like this. So it has a nice border. So keep working on this side and on three sides. And the last side, you leave a gap of about 8 inches or 20 centimeters, about 20 centimeters, and then I'll meet you back. I'm almost at the end. I have here a hole to put in my pillow. If you want your hole a bit bigger, so your pillow slides in a bit easier, then do that. If you worked your single crochets on the inside, then turn your work right side out and then put in your pillow. So I have here my pillow and then work it in. And like I said, if you want a bigger hole, so your pillow goes in a bit smoother then, yeah, that's also possible. Make sure the pillow is in the corners. And the corner on this side. And then it is in. Now we close this gap by making single crochets through the front and through the back layer, just like you did for the rest of the pillow. Close with a slip stitch, bind off and weave in your ends and then your pillow is done. So you have to put your pillow a little bit deeper inside so you can hold your two ends, your top two pieces nice on nicely on top of each other and then you can easily close by making single crochets. If you worked your single crochets on the inside and then you turn to work right side out when you put in your pillow, then you make whip stitches to close this. Otherwise you see a row of single crochets on the outside and for the rest they are hidden on the inside and that's not very nice. So if you worked your single crochets on the inside then make whip stitches to close this gap or the mattress stitch. If you did it like me then just work single crochets until the end. Close with a slip stitch, bind off and weave in your ends. And then you're all done. And if you want to make the more difficult one, mosaic pillow cover, then 
click on the link in the corner or on the link in the description box and there you find the more difficult one. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed yet and you liked what you see, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another video. If you have any ideas for a next tutorial or a question, let me know in the comments down below. See you next time. Thank you.